So on entering the ear canal with the endoscope, we can see this sort of whitish debris here, and this is the dead skin. And uh, as I alluded to earlier, sort of sheaths of dead skin and flaky bits of dead skin in the ear canal, that's all perfectly normal. We see it all the time, and it's fairly easy to get out with suction or crocodile forceps and, and, and the like. Um, but what makes this case particularly unusual is just the, first of all, the amount that's in the ear, but secondly, the density of it. It's highly compressed and sort of, if you imagine sort of layers and layers of pastry sort of squished together, um, that's the consistency that we're seeing here. Um, and it's also entwined with a lot of hair, um, which you'll see throughout the video, which uh, makes the extraction a little more difficult um, because the hair, when it's sort of entangled and entwined with dead skin and wax, um, it sort of gives the whole plug uh, a lot of strength, like structure, so um, as a similar principle to, to adding gravel or sand to um, cement, or better yet actually, um, adding uh, wood shavings or sawdust to um, ice. So when you put uh, sawdust or sh wood shavings in water and then freeze it, you end up with this super strong ice called piecrete. Um, so it's like ice plus. And interestingly, in the Second World War, the British were going to make a, a, a boat out of piecrete, a, a, a ship. Um, and then they quickly realised that that was a terrible idea. So, uh, But similar principle here with the hair. So we're just going to try and essentially loosen this all up um, and try and free, free up this plug so the patient can hear normally again. Um, but the reason I wanted to share this with you is because this is a very good clear example of something we call acute diffuse desquamation um, which essentially means shedding of skin and a lot of it um, so acute diffuse in this particular scenario just means that it's happening in great quantity throughout the ear canal so that's what diffuse means so it's not localized to one area and desquamation is the sort of medical term um, that we use to describe the shedding of dead skin so uh, it's actually a, a term derived from a Latin word called desquamus, and that translates as the, the sort of taking scales off a fish. Um, but nowadays we use desquamation just to mean the shedding of outer layers or dead layers of skin. And uh, as I alluded to in the intro, um, this has been caused by an ear infection, an outer ear infection, which is called otitis externa. And this patient did have a lot of pain in their ear. They saw the doctor and the doctor diagnosed it and then prescribed some antibiotics. Um, but by that point, the, the desquamation had obviously completely taken over. And the, the reason why you get dead skin, uh, dead, dead skin collecting in the, in the ear canal is uh, because of a process called rapid cell turnover. So as the dead skin is shedding away, new skin cells are coming up through the ranks, but very, very quickly. So you get this sort of um, rapid turnover, basically, of, of skin cells. And because the skin cells have nowhere to go, they get stuck, basically. So if you had acute diffuse desquamation on your hand, there's not necessarily a problem because it just sort of you know, flakes away into the environment. You know, all you would see on your hand is sort of a lot of scaly um, dead skin and flakes and things like that, but it's not an issue. But when it happens in the ear, obviously it's a, it's a disaster. It's, it's a disaster for two reasons, actually. The first is that it clogs up your ear, so your ear feels full and you might have a hearing loss. Um, both things are true in this case. But the second reason is that it makes the otitis externa more likely to come back. So one of the conundrums of, of this particular type of infection is that uh, microorganisms, and including the ones that, that cause otitis externa, so including those types of bacteria, they, as a general rule of thumb, love to eat dead skin, particularly if it's soggy and warm. Um, and what they can do is, is you can take that medication um, and you might have uh, a, a, a period where the symptoms go away, so the pain goes away, but this may just be a quiescent period, so a quiet period, basically. Uh, but what's actually happened, uh, and this is not all the time, but what may happen is that the microorganisms, you know, some of them survive, and um, they're actually surviving on, on little biofilms on this dead skin. So a biofilm is basically a colony of microorganisms. So it's basically plaque on, on your teeth. That's a good example of a biofilm. Um, 
so one of the uh, appropriate treatments for otitis externa is um, sometimes it's not just a, a medicine it's also cleaning the ear as well um, and that's what we've achieved here basically so we we've removed you know obviously as you can see two huge chunks of dead skin and then we're, we've got these little remaining pieces here so we'll have a look at the the eardrum once this little piece is out of the way and the eardrum normally appears as sort of a gray disc uh, at the end of the ear canal so I'll mark it with an arrow so you can see it um, so it's right there and it's it's not super clear because it's covered with sort of a film of white dead skin um, but overall the canal is fairly clear what I'm doing here is I'm just looking to see if any of this white dead skin will will come away easily um, so you can see I'm just sort of peeling it with the suction probe sort of trying to not apply too much downward pressure but just catch it and then peel it upwards um, now unfortunately at this point the patient was finding this a tad uncomfortable so we didn't get very far with this um, so the patient will have to be followed up um, but hopefully what should happen is that all of this white skin that you're seeing coating the ear canal this should hopefully dry and flake away um, and then that will basically be denying those microorganisms that 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 food source so we've already taken away a huge amount of that opportunity um, but again if any of this you know dead skin were to get um, wet and soggy then it's sort of returning to ground zero again and um, that gives the the otitis externa a chance to reoccur but overall this is a fairly good outcome for the patient they were certainly feeling a lot better after the procedure um, and they could hear a lot better as well so there we go i hope you found this video uh, informative and interesting if you liked it please leave a comment subscribe and i will see you on the next video